The scandal is particularly damaging for the Liberals in the seat of Vaucluse, which has a strong Jewish community presence. Like its overlapping federal seat of Wentworth, Vaucluse is under threat from a Teal Independent in the March election. And joining us live now is that independent, Karen Fryer. Karen, thank you for your time. You're a descendant of Holocaust survivors. How has the Premier's admission made you feel? You know, the first thing I did um, when I heard the news um, was to call my father, who broke down in tears. The, the Premier's decision to wear a Nazi uniform has brought back memories my father has tried to forget. My father's earliest memories were of Nazis shooting point blank into prams, killing babies. My great aunt, a concert pianist, survived by playing the piano in a camp. My grandparents lived under floorboards. You know, the, the Premier's apology appeared sincere, but I wish that apology had come a little earlier. When someone enters public life, it's sens it would be sensible to address certain indiscretions, and I think this is one such indiscretion. Are there any more? You know, we, um, we know the Premier has long admired extreme white politics, right-wing politics. Just look, he was one of the first people to congratulate Trump when he won the US election. Um, but we do have to accept the apology. And I think we we need to also think and hope that there's a silver lining to this cloud. Um, and that is, is that we um, increase the amount of education when it comes to fighting anti-Semitism. Does his apology cut it? Look, I think I think we have to accept an apology. Yes, yes, the apology does 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 suffice and um and I think they're all adult enough to accept an apology. Um, I just wish it had come earlier. I think that when you make the decision to enter public life, as I said earlier, there are certain indiscretions that you might need to um, address. And I would say this is one such indiscretion. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, Hearing that your father was in tears, he's obviously yeah. not the only one that's going to be deeply offended by this. How are people in the community really reacting to the admission? Everyone's in shock. Absolute shock. You know, this is the last thing I think anyone expected. Um, uh, I've been speaking to a number of people in the community. I spoke to a rabbi yesterday when the news hit and his concern that is that this news might um, fuel um, even more anti-Semitism. Um, we've got a, a serious issue in, in my electorate, and I think it's not only in Vaucluse and in the eastern suburbs, but I'd say it's it's around the country with anti-Semitism. Um, yeah. You know, stories, parents come up to me every week complaining about the anti-Semitism their children face at schools. Uh, this is just a, another reminder of why it's so important uh, that we need to constantly talk about anti-Semitism in all of its forms. Absolutely. Looking at the political fallout, will this hurt Dominic Perrottet in, in seats like Vaucluse? You know, I'm not, I'm not a fortune teller. Um, I'm, I'm certain, I, I, I just, as I say, I, I, I just remember I'm thinking back to that conversation that I had with my father and it's definitely affected his um, opinion of Dominic Perrottet. Okay. Do you have any sympathy for Dominic Perrottet? He is apologising. I know you've accepted the apology. Um, he's clearly become quite emotional. Has he handled it in the best way? Um, look, that, that's for him to decide. I'm not going to, I'm not an, a Liberal Party advisor. Um, as I say, I just wish he'd done it earlier. I think that um, the community you know, this is this is something obviously that's been talked about for a long period of time. It's only just come out now. It does make me question um, uh, the how functional the Liberal Party is, where we're being asked to vote for a party um, that consists of people who are leaking against one another. I think we can do a lot better. Karen Fry, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you.